Morning y'all. I'm heading out to do cardio right now. Um, still semi half asleep. About five weeks out from my November show, November 12th, I'm doing the Iron Games here in LA. Um, it will be probably my last show of the season and I'm going to be heading into a much, much, much needed off season. This will be my seventh show this season. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I absolutely would not be doing this if I did not love it. My time for foods and freedom will come, uh, but right now it's grind time and it's time to focus. So off to cardio I go. Just got back from cardio and breakfast this morning is Amanda's one carb waffle recipe. If you don't know this recipe, um, first of all, if you don't know this recipe, first of all, get out from the rock you've been living under <laughs> and visit her YouTube channel because it is in the link in her description box. Because so many people ask about it. And it is topped with one packet of oat fit, which is the most delicious oatmeal ever, and a tablespoon of almond butter. Done. So just a quick little tip for those of you who are wondering how to clean your competition bikinis. Um, <clears throat> I have to send mine back to CJ. Um, I get my suits done by CJ's Elite Competition Wear. And I'm sending mine back to her to be adjusted for my next show, which is in about five weeks. What I do is I fill up an old pot that I don't really use um, with OxyClean. And I throw my suit in there, let it soak for about five minutes. That's really all it needs. And then I take... Um, a sponge or a scrubber and just scrub out the tan. This was actually the inside of the suit was like coated in tan and just from sitting in there for like a minute, not even, it's already all coming off. So OxyClean works really well. It doesn't damage the crystals or the fabric and that's what I do. Randy's last day in town. No. So sad. Well, only for 10 days. She's going to be back in 10 days. Yay. I love you. Look at my hair though. Look, oh, I did Randy's hair for her lip fit shoot. The so best it's ever looked. Check out how beautiful she looks. Like, I feel. Give a little, beautiful. yeah, do some kind of posing. Yeah, there you go. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are getting ready to head to OC. We're going to go to the lip fit warehouse. Randy has a shoot with lip fit, and I'm tagging along. <laughs> from the gym and decided very last minute to attend a dinner in Laguna Beach which is about I don't know an hour and a half away hopefully, uh, hopefully without traffic um, with or without traffic but uh, we were both in our gym clothes we both didn't even think about showering nope. <laughs> didn't have time it's fine. What's but that thing called Japanese shower a Japanese shower or like the thing where you just shower like put per a bunch of perfume on it and deodorant and that's like it for your shower? I have no idea. If anybody knows what she's talking about, <laughs> please leave a comment. Something. I don't know. I have no idea. Let us know. I have no idea what she's talking about. It's basically when you just put a bunch of perfume on after you are gross and you just pretend you showered. You smell like a shower, but you didn't. Is there a name for this? Anyway. We just did it. This is what happens when we get ready in five minutes and I think it's a pretty good turnout. Woo. She looks amazing. Just a little 
lotion that smells good and quickly did my hair. Where's your outfit from? I have no idea. I like Forever 21, literally. Oh, Steve Madden shoes. Cute. Forever 21 top. Super cute. Let me do you now. Okay. You explain. Um, the pants are from... Oh, those are so cute. Charlotte Russe, actually. They were like a two for 30 deal. Okay. Boots are Steve Madden. Um, this is from Fashion Nova. It was like $10. Clearly we splurge on shoes and, as opposed to yeah. outfits. <laughs> Choker is from Forever. So everything is like bargain shop except for the, the shoes. Cute. Woo! Oh, that hair flip though. <laughs> what are you doing? We just got one. Oh, hello. Wow. Oh, this works. We just got to dinner. We are at Mozambique Steakhouse in Laguna Beach. And here is our delicious appetizer. So we're starting yes. with a portobello mushroom stack. It is portobello mushroom on the top, tomato uh, stacked with some hummus, and a little bit more mushroom. All right, so we also got an eight ounce filet as our entree. We're gonna split it. It came with some mashed potatoes and one piece of asparagus for each of us, apparently. <laughs> this steak is literally cooked to perfection. Medium rare, perfection. So good. Are in the photo shoot or? So good. Last night was so great, as you guys could tell from the clip. Amanda and I went out to dinner with some friends to celebrate a friend's birthday at Mozambique Steakhouse in Laguna Beach. We shared an eight ounce filet, some veggies, and a portobello mushroom appetizer, which was amazing. The only downside was I checked my bank account this morning and the server charged me $400 instead of $40, but we got that taken care of, so we are all good. Um, I'm headed to the gym to meet my neighbor today. We're gonna train together, do some shoulders. Uh, I am wearing the new Live Fit sports bra. Hang on, do a little car strip here. So freaking cute, these mesh panels are just adorable. They just launched this new line a couple of days ago and I was able to get my hands on one of the sports bras and I love it. Also going to be getting in a cryo session today and then just catching up on client emails. I am currently accepting new clients for both weight loss and for competition prep right now. So if you are interested, I will put all the information in the description box. I only take on limited amount of clients at a time. So if you're interested, please reach out to me ASAP. So Gold's has been pretty crazy about us filming in there, so I wasn't really able to get any good footage for you guys, but that workout with Sam was absolutely just what I needed. Um, this week has been really tough for me. I've been feeling weak and tired and not really feeling into my workouts. Uh, yesterday, to be perfectly honest with you, I left mid-workout. I've never done that. I was training legs and I just could not get my mind in the right place. And normally, even when my mind isn't right, I'll hit the weights and forget everything and end up having a good workout anyway. But yesterday was just not that case. I've had a lot of like anxiety this week and just things hanging over my head that I really need to take care of um, outside of my prep. And um, I think that that's really just clouded my ability to really get in the zone with my workouts. Um, and today I woke up and I was reading out of my devotional and the entry today was about how no matter what, no matter how hard you try to avoid something, um, it's always going to come after you and it's always going to find you. And so you just have to address it and do something about it and make it better. You can't run from things. There's always going to be problems. We're always going to face obstacles and challenges. Anxiety is something that I've dealt with for pretty much my whole entire life. Um, however, I've learned coping mechanisms for it. I've learned that when I see my anxiety start to creep up, things that I need to do to self-care and to minimize those anxious feelings. Um, and this week, I've really neglected doing those things. I really need to take the time to take care of my mind and my soul. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to take care of my body. And that was very clear in yesterday's workout when I just could not. I just couldn't do it. I left and I got home and Amanda asked me, how was your workout? And I said, it was shit. <laughs> Today, I ended up on a positive note, on a high note. I'm feeling good. Um, my anxiety levels are much lower and um, just 
take this message, I hope that if you're watching this, that you take this as a message that no matter what, you're going to face obstacles, you're going to face challenges. Don't try and run from them. Just be strong and tackle them head on. And don't let the challenges make you feel like you're weak or less of a person because they happen for all of us. They're inevitable. You know that nothing great is ever accomplished without a struggle. So if any of you are feeling this way, if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling worried about things that are outside of your control, if you're thinking about the days ahead instead of what's right in front of you, stop right now and just refocus on the moment right here, right in front of you. you. Focus on the present and focus on the things that you can do and not the things that are outside of your control. Focusing on what you can change, focus on changing your mindset rather than focusing on the things that are outside of your control. I hope that this message was helpful for some of you or that you can at least feel like you're not alone and that these kinds of things happen for all of us. We're in this together, fam, so thank you for watching. I always appreciate your thumbs up and your comments, so please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment below, and I will catch you guys next time.